Empire Architect is a relatively new game that pays homage to classic city building titles like Caesar Tree and Pharaoh. I'd like to thank Batholith Entertainment for providing me a copy to review the game. Right now, even though the game has been released, you have a basic campaign in the game. You also have the ability to play randomly generated maps. The campaign itself is the Glory of Rome, where you will follow the steps to build the Roman territory. Currently, it is quite limited as there's only a few scenarios set up, but the maps are randomly generated, so there's always a certain replayability. If you're familiar with Impressions games, you will feel right at home with this title. The main difference you will see right away is the building mechanic. Rather than plopping down buildings that are magically built, you will set down a construction order from where your builders will travel to and construct what you designed. You can build all sorts of buildings and you get walkers going around to provide services to your citizens. You will need to build farms to feed your population. You also have a nice set of extensive industrial buildings where you can gather primary resources and turn them into useful valuables. There are plenty of goods to produce and we have a large variety of buildings and activity going on around the map. You will need to provide water, legion access and entertainment to your citizens. And here I do have a complaint as it is rigidly similar to Caesar series in the operation of these services. But at least it feels extremely familiar. The education did get a revamp though. Rather than being a basic need in schools, you are required to provide education to your worker for high-end jobs. Another one of my complaints is the lack of drive to complete your goals. You do have the objectives, but if you dig up a little bit around, you will find quickly that we do have a poor UI that is unintuitive. The map overlay UI is also extremely clunky and has been unfriendly to me. I also deplore the lack of advisors like in Impressions games that gives a quick general idea of the issues and how to fix them. Instead, we have basic tool tips that give somewhat vague information on troubles. While playing Empire Architect, I found myself a few times in a dead end where I could not figure out what was going on with my population suffering stagnation. The militaristic side of the game is a bit lacking too. I enjoy that your enemy will share the map with you and they will be building up on their own end and sending troops to attack, but the combat is disgusting. You can control either a banner of four units, either legionaries or archers, or control each of these units individually, but in both cases the controls are unresponsive. It is quite hard to differentiate the troops at a glance, as there are no indications outside of their lookup clothes. Even the banners are nearly identical to the enemy's ones. The graphics are actually quite decent. We have an isometric view of the world with a good scaling on the textures and we can zoom in and out while conserving the quality of the image. The music is a little bit loopy and repetitive but never ends up being annoying after playing for a few hours and this is mostly due to the limited content of the game more so than the actual music. So right now, Empire Architect is a solid city building games with the somewhat bright futures with some interesting additions to it. For example, maybe a rework on the UI will be appreciated and more content provided will be a great help for the title. There's still room for expansion on the core mechanics too, but right now it is a very enjoyable title. Now, if you have enjoyed this quick review of Empire Architect, make sure to subscribe for more. And meanwhile, watch out my review of Caesar Tree. Thanks for watching and see you next time.